this is the second video on the relative velocity if you have not watched my first video on the relative velocity the link of that video is given in description you can watch that video before this thank you let's take one example using that example i'm going to teach you another method to draw the vector triangle the velocity triangle this is the example an aircraft can fly at a speed of u in still air what is the meaning of still air there is no wind wind is not blowing still air still air or wind is not blowing means the velocity of that aircraft with respect to wind is actually u that is the idea of a statement so when we are reading we can mark those informations given directly velocity uh, an aircraft can fly at a speed of u in still air means velocity of the aircraft with respect to wind with respect to wind means there is no wind note down karagan oluwata daagan with respect to wind kiyanne wind eka move wenne naha with respect to earth kiyanne earth eka move wenne naha move wenne athi stationary earth ekata respectively ape movement eka ape velocity eka ena with respect to wind kiyanne in still air kiyana ekama thamai oka thamai relative velocity menna me aircraft problem eke wedagathma thana liya gan still air means with respect to wind they have given the magnitude u but they haven't mentioned the direction so it can be to any direction any direction aircraft eka ona pettakata harawala yanna puluwan any direction on a day when the wind is blowing from north at a speed of v ah now wind velocity is also given what is that velocity of wind with respect to earth wind is blowing means wind is blowing with respect to earth that is from north coming from north what is the magnitude v the aircraft starts to fly from a city a to a city b which is in a direction of theta east of north ah uh, ab directions you have to mark the direction of ab see the information which is in a direction of theta east of north so first we have to draw our north from a because a is the starting point draw the draw north through a then you have to turn an angle theta to east right hand side dekara theta rotate pen on theta east that is how you are going to mark it returns to a immediately after reaching b if the distance between the two cities is s distance between two cities is s show that the total time taken for the flight that is the idea okay that is the question so i have written what we were going through while we were reading the question so here are those information velocity of aircraft in still air with respect to wind when there is no wind information mark direction unknown therefore we can circle that arrow that means it can travel in any direction that is the idea then velocity of wind wind was blow wind that means wind is blow wind with respect to earth that is from north from north blow wind down with this magnitude then ab locations were given they said that uh, starting from a to city b direction of theta east of north north take a sit east take a theta 
so that is the tangle okay now everything information okkuma mark karla ivare now we have to label these letters a is for aircraft w is for wind e for earth why tick current deela thiyena velocity is them akuru thuna label karana now apply the equation relative velocity equation so what is the missing velocity we have to find velocity of aircraft with respect to earth because we know the velocity of the aircraft with respect to wind then we can find velocity of aircraft with respect to earth then between a and e i can put a w between a and e i have put w now mark the information velocity of aircraft with respect to wind what is this circle direction unknown that is u direction unknown velocity of wind with respect to earth downwards v what is this resultant do we know a magnitude or a direction of that velocity of aircraft with respect to earth when somebody is looking at this aircraft moving in air it is traveling from a to b this is the direction of a to b so that person looking at the aircraft from ground can see aircraft is traveling along this path a b kiyana cities dekak thiyenne ahasa udama kiyala hitanna etokota yata penne metan idala metan ta aircraft ekak yanawa wage etokota mataga thiya ganna menne me picture ekin denne aircraft ekke with respect to earth movement ekak aircraft movement with respect to earth will be given from this small picture we are drawing according to the positions given in the question positions deka deela thi be b ge ho then this is the direction this is the direction it is moving from a to b that means upward magnitude is unknown i can use w okay now in order to draw the velocity triangle i have to mark three vectors this is my pq vector then i can put pr here rq here between p and q i introduced r okay ah uh, introduction ekak hondata hagena hitiya na den therenna ona in the first example or the introduction we discussed man and wind problem both velocities and their direction were given e dekama apita deela tibba magnitude and direction both things were given but here in this case magnitude direction given here magnitude given but not the direction here direction is unknown ah uh, for those kind of relative velocity problems we have to use a different method to obtain the velocity triangle kalingane velocity triangle ek apita lesiyam enda ganna puluwa directions deela tibba nisa meke ek kenekge direction ekak denne ne ehema thamai aircraft problem ekei river problem ekei gana denne ehena meka apply karana api alut method ekak circle method kiyala circle method relative velocity velocity triangle eka adinda beha eka pare hinda yanawa menna meka meka thamai ada semina eke attatama wedagathma di basis eka oka thamai ada mon semina eke ugannanne ohomada circle method eka use karala me information eka triangle ekata ganne okay This is the process. First, we have to interchange. Now, I'm going to begin circular method, circle method. 
listen carefully first step is to interchange these two vectors to represent these two velocities because first vector is pr but here direction of this velocity is unknown so how can we draw the first vector if its direction is unknown therefore i have to draw the vector where the direction is known first alavenita ma dinno na direction ekak danna vekte e hinda v represent karana pr gen u represent karana r q gen kiyala onno homa interchange karaganna ona that is the first step in circle method done now we can draw pr vector represented representing v downwards v you can try draw it here v downwards what is the vector pr p r then considering the end point of the first vector rita hagan considering the end point of the first vector we are going to draw a circle around this keep in that as the center uh, first vector is drawn then going to draw a circle what is the center this end point of this first vector marked is the center this is the center draw a circle radius of the circle must be larger than this vector very important if this is the center size of the circle radius of the circle must be more than this vector huh? that is for river problems and aircraft problems for collisions the fifth type in relative velocity in those cases we have to draw the circle smaller in radius than the first vector etokota collision ganang wala ship deka gihila ekata happenawa submarine eka gihila ship ege happenawa etokota enemy vessel eka me wedi tiyenawa kaata hari onno ohoma ekak kiyuwahama first vector eka andala second vector eka andiddi e circle eka mekata wada podiyata thamai andiddi e information eka question ekema tiyenawa inequality ekak hatiya හරි ඒවා දන්නේ නැති ඔය බලලවත් නැති ළමයි ඉන්නවා නම් අවුලක් නැහැ කිසි ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ අද උගන්වන මේක ඉගෙන ගන්න අර කතන්දරේ අපි පස්සේ බලමු දැන් උගන්වන මේක ඔලුවට දාන්න නව ඔකේ සර්කල් ඩ්‍රෝන් දෙන් නෙක්ස්ට් වන් හියර් ස්ටිල් ඇයි කාන්ට් මාක් දිස් සෙකන්ඩ් වෙලොසිටි ආර් කියු බිකොස් ඩිරෙක්ෂන් ඉස් අන්නෝන් බට් හියර් we know the direction of this pq pq ge direction ekak dannawa lamai what is pq that is the resultant sum of these two will give you this that means this is the result now see carefully first vector pr drawn after that from r to q q can be any point in this circle but we don't know the direction r to q but i know the direction tq pq that means i'm going to mark this resultant vector pq starting from where p because i'm going to mark pq vector enam pq nam patang ganna ona p genne enam metanin patang ganna what is the direction that is theta inclined to east from north vertical ekak indala theta incline window na east ekata ehena yanne a to b udata from here to here this is my p understood this is the resultant since this is the resultant i am going to put two arrows then angle is marked like this this angle is theta okay if this is the resultant resultant is the vector drawn from starting point of the first vector and end point of the second vector resultant ekak kiyanne 
අපි මාක් කරන වෙක්ටර්ස් දෙකේ ස්ටාටින් පොයින්ට් එකේ ඉඳලා ෆිනිෂින් පොයින්ට් එකට අඳින ඉර ස්ටාටින් පොයින්ට් එක මෙතන නේ ළමයි එහෙනම් රිසල්ටන්ට් එක ඉවර වෙලා තියෙන්නේ මෙතනින් දැන් this should be the end point of the second vector ah now we can join r and this point now what is this this is our r q where we didn't know the direction earlier direction එක දන්නේ නැතුව හිටිය vector එකේ direction එක හොයා ගත්තා Okay, now we have the velocity triangle. To mark that Q, we had to draw a circle. That's why we drew a circle there. Okay. Now, going to the question again. Aircraft starts to fly from a city A to A. a city b which is in a direction of theta east of north returns a immediately after reaching b that means we have to uh, consider both not one way motion two way motion a to b b to a now what is b to a then a to b yanne me pattata ne b to a kiyanne metan idala a passata ne that is the other thing you can draw the resultant for the return journey for the return journey it is b to a starting point is p what is going to change the direction of motion is going to change earlier upward now downward because it is returning back so this is the second resultant resultant for the second case this is the resultant for first case then this is also a q point so for the first case i am going to mark q1 for the second case i am going to mark q2 then if this is this should be v this should be rq should be u then this one rq rq2 that is also u it is obvious why r is the center of the circle r q1 r q2 are two radii therefore their magnitudes must be equal u and u now we have drawn both velocity triangles for both journeys a to b and b to a i i hope you understood the drawing method I will repeat uh, that method in the second example again. Now we have to simplify and obtain that expression given using this. Okay, they are referring to a time. Sorry, then triangle like that. Leave it. ඒක තේරුණ නැත්තම් ඒක තව පැටලී සහගත නම් අවුලක් නැහැ ඊළඟ එක්සැම්පල් එකේදී ආය වලුට දාගන්න මේ වගේම උගන්න දැන් සිම්ප්ලිෆයි කරන විදිහ මෙතන ඉඳලා අල්ල ගන්න දැන් මේ කැන්ද හැටි මට තේරුණ නැහැ කිය කිය ඔරු වෙවි හිටියොත් සිම්ප්ලිෆිකේෂන් එකක් වලුට යන්න දැන් මේකෙන් සිම්ප්ලිෆිකේෂන් එකවත් අල්ල ගන්න බැරි වෙච්ච කට්ටි ඕකේ we have to find a time this is the equation s equals d over t speed equals distance divided by time what is time subject t it is distance over speed so here i can mark this resultant w1 speed w1 this one w2 so here we have two magnitudes w1 and w2 because of p1 and uh, q1 and q2 therefore here also i have to mark q1 and q2 both okay then in order to find time time taken by the aircraft to travel from a to b we have to divide distance s by that speed what is the speed 
of the aircraft moving from A to B that is represented by W1. A to B travel karana vector ka represent karana PQ1 wali. What is the magnitude? That is W1. Then to calculate the time for the return journey that is from B to A, what is the vector? PQ2. What is the magnitude? W2. So we have to find now W1 and W2. How to find W1, W2? You have to do a small construction like this. This is the construction. velocity triangle point vertex you have to draw a perpendicular to this base. This is the perpendicular. Then we can mark angles. These two are vertically opposite. Therefore, this is theta. Vertically opposite can grade 9 geometry theorem theta. Then I can mark this angle, unknown angle. I am going to use alpha. Now what can you say about this angle here and this angle? This and this. They are equal. Why? RQ2, RQ1 are equal. They are the radius of the circuit. Radius now. Make I make I equal now. Make isocells triangle like acne. In an isocells triangle, we know these two angles are same. So I can mark the same letter for that angle as well. Alpha. Okay. Now we can resolve. We can resolve this line PR. PR to this direction. I can resolve this PR to this direction. And that will be equal to this blue color perpendicular drawn. Because of this right angle triangle, I can resolve this hypotenuse PR like this. A drawings See, I have constructed a parallelogram. Then I can resolve this PR to this direction that will be equivalent to this blue color perpendicular line. What is that? V, what? Theta. Away from the angle, V sine theta. So from here to here, what is the length? V sine theta. The second construction is, I am going to construct a parallelogram keeping this RQ1 as my diagonal. This is that parallelogram. My parallelogram is the same as the practice. I am going to practice the same as the practice. I am going to V sin alpha. I am going to resolve U sin alpha. I am equal window. Now this part from here to here is equal in length to the line from here to here. What is that? U sine alpha. U sine alpha. Now there is a relationship for theta and alpha. Theta was there given in the question. Alpha is a new variable. Now I can subject that sine alpha. That is V over U sine theta. V over U sine theta. So when you are obtaining a trigonometric ratio for the new angle for this variable, after that, it's better to draw a triangle, right angle triangle to mark that information. This is the right angle triangle. This is that alpha angle I have introduced to the question. What is sine alpha? Sine alpha is opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Then what is opposite? Opposite is the numerator part of this sine alpha fraction. What is the numerator? From here to here, V sine theta. Then what is the denominator? U. That should be our hypotenuse, U. Now, applying Pythagoras relation, applying Pythagoras relation, we can find this length. What is that? 
hypotenuse square minus this length square pythagoras relation එක දන්න ඕනේ ඉතින් ඒ නෝඩන්ට ඇවිල්ලා මෙන්න මේක ඊක්වල් වෙනවා u square minus this one square v square sin square theta square root okay this unknown side is equivalent to hypotenuse square minus this side square entire square root so you have to obtain this triangle and these sides after obtaining sin alpha fraction okay okay our target is to find speed because we know the distance from a to b and b to a that is s okay uh, since this is confusing the distance is s huh? this is speed this is speed this is speed distance is known s but we have to calculate speed what is the speed speed of the aircraft with respect to earth from a to b and b to a see w1 and w2 that is our target finding w1 from here to here is w1 from here to here is w2 so we have to find pq1 and pq2 how to find pq1 okay you have to apply this trick PQ1 resolve this RQ1. Resolve RQ1, this hypotenuse to this side. This hypotenuse to this side. What is that magnitude? No need to worry about this direction. No? You have to consider only the length. What is the length? U. U resolved to this. That is cos alpha. U is all towards the angle. That is U cos alpha. So U cos alpha is from here to here all the way. But our PQ1 is from this point to this point. Now from this entire curly bracket, I have to subtract this part. I have to subtract that. What is that? You can resolve that V. You can resolve this V to this side. Again, towards this theta angle. That should be V cos theta towards the angle cos. Minus V cos theta. Then PQ done. Because we have cos alpha. I can find cos alpha from this triangle. Now PQ2. What is PQ2? PQ2 is from here to here. Here to here. That is the sum of this term, this side, plus this side. PQ2 is this plus this. What is this? V cos theta. What is this? Uh, that is U resolved towards the angle. That is U cos alpha. That is u cos alpha from here to here. Then plus this small part. What is that? V cos theta. That is plus V cos theta. Very important, Ramai. Here in these river problems and aircraft problems, always you will get these kind of factors what is the special feature here see u cos alpha u cos alpha v cos theta v cos theta what is the only difference one factor is minus the other factor is plus when the may with the other may lesson to me wa are gonna you know now it could power out there you know okay when we want to get car again yeah make some political leader they were near the car at the local and theory you come at the end of the week you can make it that means we can take uh, the two velocities as a minus b, a plus b, like factors of two squares. A difference of two squares will a minus b, a plus b factors. Okay. Uh, now, 
Now, this is our target, finding the time for the aircraft to travel from A to B and B to A, distance is S, speed, now we have already calculated the speed, PQ1, PQ2. Now look at this simplification. But under the Napoleon simplification, the Kakaranutin, one made it a Makaladana. Time. Time taken by the aircraft for the, for the entire journey is T A B. Time taken by the aircraft to travel from A to B plus time taken by the aircraft to travel from B to A. A to B, B to A. That is time. Distance, distance between A and B is S. S is the variable given over speed. Speed of the aircraft in A to B journey. A to B journey is represented by PQ1. What is the velocity? W1. W1 is PQ1. Then I'm going to put W1 here, W2 here. Then I can substitute W1. Minname some poor W one variable like Then here plus TBA. That is distance from B to A is divided by speed from B to A. Speed from B to A is represented by PQ2. PQ2. What is the vector? W2. Now, this is the simplification, very important. Look at this one very carefully. Take S out. Take S out. Then we are left with 1 over W1 plus 1 over W2. Now, take the common denominator. Take the common denominator. What is the common denominator? W1 into W2. Common denominator W1 into W2. Then in the numerator, we will get W2 multiplied with 1 plus W1 multiplied with 1. In numerator, we have W2 plus W1. Now, after this, you can simplify. You can substitute these two expressions, W1 and W2. What is W1? U cos alpha V cos theta. Plus W1. Ah, that is W1. Mistakenly, I substituted W1 first. Then I can substitute W2. What is W2? U cos alpha. That is plus. Plus V cos theta. Divided by what is the denominator? Denominator is the product of W1 and W2. That means our A minus B into A plus B simplification. So I can write like this A minus B into A plus B. What is the result? A square minus B square. This is grade 10 maths. So what is A? First term of this U cos alpha. Take the square u square cos square alpha minus what is b b is the second term v cos theta square it. v square cos square theta now you can simplify minus v cos theta plus v cos theta get cancelled now here we have s u cos alpha plus u cos alpha is 2u cos alpha over here we have u squared cos squared alpha minus v squared cos squared theta. Next, I'm going to substitute these cos alphas because alpha is a variable introduced by us. I have to remove that. I am going to substitute cos alpha. Okay, now I'm going to continue this here. Time is equivalent to this is 2 us cos alpha 2 us what is cos alpha adjacent side over hypotenuse this is our adjacent side u square minus v square sine square theta square root 
over what is hypotenuse u then this u u get cancelled then we have the denominator what is our denominator u square cos squared now i have to square cos angle what is cos adjacent side over hypotenuse but it should be squared then square of this square root is b uh, u square minus v square sin square theta square root get cancelled because we are squaring over hypotenuse that is also squared hypotenuse is u then it is u square u u square get cancelled what is the remaining part minus v square cos squared theta that is our denominator now you can see numerator we have two simple is u square minus v square sin square theta square root divided by what is there in denominator u square minus v square sin square theta minus v squared cos squared theta okay but here we can take minus v square out because v square is a common factor then i am going to take this common factor v square out from these two then that is sin square plus cos square theta from minus v square sin square minus v square cos square i have taken minus v square out inside bracket we are left with sin square theta plus cos square theta what is that from trigonometry that is equivalent to 1 then i have that answer for time given in the question 2s square root over u square minus v square this is the expression they asked